you have seen this eye chart before. It's at the DMV, it's at the optometrist, it's in doctor's offices all over the place. You probably know that font as the eye chart font, and you definitely know that huge E. This thing is a dead simple tool for testing eyesight, and it's helped millions of people see better. But as simple as it is, there's some very precise math hidden away in those block letters. It doesn't just tell you if you need glasses, it tells you something about the fundamental limits of human vision. And we wanted to put that math to the test, on a slightly ridiculous scale. Oh, we've got the Coast Guard coming by. But let's back up. The eye chart we all know and love was created back in 1862 by a Dutch ophthalmologist named Herman Snellen. His early prototypes used abstract shapes, but he eventually settled on letters. And the design hasn't changed much since then. The chart is designed to measure one very particular aspect of our eyesight, visual acuity, or our ability to see very fine detail. It's basically the resolution of the eye. Now here, resolution isn't measured in pixels, it's measured in degrees, like of an angle. Which is weird, but here's why. Say you're looking at two lights shining at you from a distance. You can tell them apart because the light from each source is traveling through your eye and hitting a different set of light-sensitive cells called photoreceptors. If you move those lights closer together, they'll start hitting photoreceptors that are closer to each other. Especially because as the light travels through the eye, it spreads out a little bit. Eventually, the two lights will blend together and your brain will start to interpret them as one. That angle between the two paths of light, right as you lose the ability to pick them apart, that's the resolution limit of your eye. For healthy adults, it's on the scale of just 1 60th of a degree, also known as one arc minute. Snellen's eye chart is designed with this resolution limit in mind. Take that little E in the middle. It's built on a five by five grid so that the black lines and white spaces are all the same width, about a 16th of an inch. If you stand 20 feet away and look at that little E, each little black bar or space is exactly one arc minute thick. If you can read most of the letters in that row at 20 feet away, you have 20-20 vision. Meaning at 20 feet, the patterns of white and black are just at the limit of your eye's resolving power. Now, you might be able to read a row or two beneath 2020. Most adults actually can. In fact, 2020 was never defined as perfect or even average. It's just a baseline to measure everything against. The row beneath that is the 2015 line. That means if you have 2020 acuity, you'd have to walk forward five feet to see it clearly. All in all, with corrective lenses, there isn't actually a huge range in acuity from one person to another. Partly because we have similar densities of photoreceptors in our eyes. It's like we're all taking photos with the same camera sensor. Compare that with other animals like eagles, which have a very different optical setup than we do, including many more photoreceptors. Their eyes are camera sensors optimized for spotting rabbits from midair. Whatever your resolution limit is, you can use it to calculate your own acuity at different distances. Based on the Snellen chart, Rachel's acuity is a bit better than 2020, which makes her maximum resolution just under one arc minute. So let's have a little fun with that. All we're going to do is plant you in front of this window right here, mm -hmm. and we're going to go out there and show you some very, very large E's, and all you have to do is tell us if you can identify the E. We'll start small. That pier is about 1,500 feet away from us. Since Rachel's acuity is a little better than one arc minute, she should comfortably see an E if it's about 25 inches across. Hello? Hi. Hi. I am going to show you an E. Can you tell me? If it's facing the right way, if it's backwards. Okay. Okay, ready? Which way is the E facing? The open part of the E is facing towards the sky. Perfect. Now for the big finish. Treasure Island out there in the bay is about two miles away. So to pull off the same eye exam, we're gonna need a much bigger E, like 15 feet tall. Here we go. All right, gently, gently, gently. Oh, wind's catching it. Can you see it? I see an E, and it's pointed to the right. And it is pointed to the right. That is correct. <laughs> the last thing to mention here is that acuity is important, but it's not the be-all end-all. Your ability to sense movement, color, contrast, depth, all of that factors into successful eyesight. 
So acuity is just one tool of many to help you make sense of the world. Oh, we've got the Coast Guard coming by. We are happy to be here testing the Coast Guard on their visual acuity. Okay, I think we're done. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is part of the brand new Verge Science YouTube channel. We're putting a video out every week on this channel. So if this is the type of thing you're looking for, hit the subscribe button and come back every week and let us know in the comments what kind of thing you wanna see because we're gonna be doing a lot more.